Hi everyone, uh, this is RJ Enseñado and welcome back sa aking channel, GTR Mac Tutorial. So in today's video, uh, we will discuss uh, work problem. So kakay ibang work problem naman, naman ito, meron tayong uh, work, man, and time. Yung mga nauna natin example ng work problem kasi ang given lang doon ay yung rate nung, nung man or nung tao, rate, tapos tsaka yung, yung work lang tsaka yung rate. So, dito, work problem na ito, tatlo na. Work, man, and time. Okay, so ang question na ito ay nanggaling sa Civil Service Exam 2022 Community. So, ayan ang problem. Okay, so, bago ang lahat, uh, kung meron kayong question, uh, punta lang kayo sa uh, FB group na ginamanage ko, Civil Service Exam slash net slash college entrance test review mark only. So, kung gusto nyo ng free reviewer, punta lang kayo sa files, then makikita nyo na yung mga free civil service reviewer, tsaka let a uh, reviewer i-download nyo na lang po. Okay, so, sagutan na natin ang problem na ito. Okay, so, ayan ang problem. A cornfield can be plowed by six tractors in four days. When six tractors work together, each of them plows 120 hectares a day. If two of the tractors were moved to another cornfield, then the remaining four tractors could plow the same field in five days. How many hectares a day would one tractor plow then? So choices, 140, 144, 146, 148, and 150 hectares per day. So isasolve natin to in, in two ways. So ano ba yung mga given natin? Isulat muna natin isa-isa. So, meron tayo dyan, uh, work, man, and time. So, yung man, hindi naman literal yan na uh, man talaga. So, yan yung character dun sa problem. Yung man, pwede yung maging yung tao mismo, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng hayop, pwedeng bagay. So, dito sa, formula, uh, sa work problem na ganito, applicable din to dun sa mga, kung may nakikita kayong mga problem na if three cats can kill three rats in three hours, Yon, so yung may mga problem na ganito, na ganit, na ganun, parang logic lang. Pero ito yung ito yung gagamitin natin doon. So yung formula na gagamitin natin para i-solve tong problem na to. So dalawang ways natin i-solve yung isa ay iisa-isahin lang natin bawat rate uh, per day tas yung isa naman gagamit tayo ng gagamit tayo ng formula. Okay, so isa-isahin natin ang mga given natin. So a corn, a corn field can be plowed by six tractors in 4 days. So, 6 tractors ang given natin. 6 tractors. Tapos, meron tayong uh, 4 days. 6 tractors, 4 days. Tapos, uh, when 6 tractors work together, each of them close 120, 120 hectares. Okay? So, yan yung uh, first triple natin. Workman and time. Ano? So, so, tapos, may isa pang given. If two of the tractors were moved to another cornfield, so in six tractors na bawasan daw ng dalawa, then the remaining four tractors, four tractors na lang, could plow the same field in the same field in five days. So ang inahanap natin, how many hectares a day would one tractor plow then? So ilat natin x x to, x yung uh, number of hectares. Okay, so ito yung dalawang triple natin. So, tractors, day, hectare. So, yan yung work, yung hectares, man, yung tractors. So, yes, syempre, yung bag, yung tractors, pinapaandar yan yung man, ano? So, yan. So, man, and then time, yung four days. Okay, so, isa-isahin lang natin. So, ang sabi dyan, ito yung unang solution, parang ano lang, isa-isahin lang natin kung, kung ilan yung rate nung, nung bawat tractor. So, ang six tractor daw, can plow the uh, cornfield in 4 days. So, i-multiply lang natin ito. Okay? So, ang rate, ang rate ng isang tractor, when 6 tractors work together, each of them plows 120 hectares a day. Okay? So, rate ng 1 tractor, so 1 tractor equal daw sa, ang 1 tractor can plow 120 hectares. Okay? Per day yon Per day. Okay? Per day. In one day. So, yun yung one tractor. So, kung six tractors na, kung six tractors na, edi eh, syempre, magiging 
uh, so ang uh, rate ng one tractor ay 120 hectares per day. So ang rate naman ng 6 tractors, syempre, i-multiply lang natin, 120 times 6, or 6 times 120, so that is equal to 12 times 6, 72. So we have 720 hectares per day. Okay? So ayan na yung rate ng 6 tractors per day. So, siyempre, ano naman ang rate ng 6 tractors in 4 days? So, 6 tractors in 4 days. So, ang rate naman yan. So, i-multiply natin itong 720 sa 4 days. So, we have 720 times 4. So, that is equal to 4 times 0. We have 0. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 7. So, we have, ayan. So, ito na yung rate ng 6 tractors in 4 days. So, ito na. 2,880 hectares. So, parang yan yung uh, work na magagawa ng 6 tractors in 4 days. Okay? So, 2,880 hectares. So, ngayon, ang tinatanong, how many hectares a day could one tractor flow then? So, given daw na... So, nasa yung question dito? If two of the tractors were moved to another corn field, then the remaining four tractors could flow the same field. So, nandun yung word na same field. So, kung ano yung same field itong dalawa. Okay? So, ang, ang gagawin lang natin, so, ito yung total work na nagawa nito. So, dahil parehas, parehas ng same field yon. so, yung magagawang work na itong pangalawang triple natin, ito pa rin, ito pa rin, 2,880 hectares. Okay? So, ano, ang question, ano daw ang ilan daw yung X? How many hectares a day would one tractor flow then? So, kailangan lang natin gawin. So, ito yung 6 uh, tractor in 4 days. So, i-divide lang natin dito. Okay? So, we have 2,880. I-divide muna natin sa 4. Divided by 4. So, parang bumalik lang. Ano? 2,880. 720 times 4, 280. So, pag dinabayad sa 4, so, babalik lang yan sa 720. So, therefore, ito yung uh, 720, ito ang, ito ang rate ng, ito yung number of hectares done by 4 tractors in 1 day. Okay? So, oh, in 5 in days pa yan, kasi 4 tractors, eh, no? so, dinabayad lang natin sa 4 tractors. So, ito yung 720, so ito yung rate ni 4 tractors. Uh, four tractors nga ba? Ni, dahil dinibayad na natin sa four, one tractor in in five days. Okay? So, 720 hectares. So, yan yung one tractor. So, ito ay one. One tractor in five days. So, divide natin sa five para makuha natin yung per day. So, 720 divided by five. So, ito na yung uh, rate ng uh, one, one tractor in one day. So, yun na yung magiging sagot. So, divide na lang natin. So, we have 720 divided by 5. So, the answer is 1 times 5. We have 5. Subtract. We have 2. Bring down 2. So, we have 4 times 5. We have 20. Subtract. We have 2. Bring down 0. 20. Ayun. 4. So, therefore, the answer is ang x natin ay 144 144 hectares ang magagawa ng 4 tractors in 5 days. Pag nawala yung dalawang tractors, tapos 5 days tatapusin, 144 hectares. Okay, so ito yung unang formula natin. Iniisa-isa lang natin. Kunin lang natin yung rate per day. So, ulitin natin, ha? Given 6 tractors, 4 days, and then 120 hectares daw ang magagawa nung bawat isang tractor. So, ang ginawa natin, ginawa lang natin yung rate ng isa, One tractor ay 120 hectares, yun yung given. Tapos, since meron tayong 6 uh, tractors, minultiply natin sa 6, yung 120. 120 times 6, so that is 720 hectares per day. Tapos, i-multiply natin sa 4 days, so we have, ayan, 720 times 4, so 2,880 hectares ang magagawa na 6 tractors in 4 days. So, tapos, since same work na, so i-divide naman natin dito sa kabila, 2,880 divided by 4, So, yun naman yung rate ni, ayan, so, one tractor in five days, dahil five days niyang nagawa. Okay, so, dinamay na natin yung four tractors. So, ito yung pag-ahatian nung, 
nung apat na nung apat na tractor. So, one tractor in five days, 720 mga gawa. Tapos, divide natin sa five pa dahil five days to. Kailangan natin ay per day. So, 720 divided by five. So, we have one tractor in one day is 144 hectares. So, syempre, mas dadami dahil umunti yung tractor. Kaya, dadami yung hectares na nag-ipo-flow nung apat na tractor. Okay? So, ayan yung solution na pag inisa-isa lang natin. So, tapos, gamitin naman natin ngayon. So, pangalawang solution natin, formula na ang gagamitin natin. Okay, so, sa work, uh, man and time problem, ang ginagamit lang natin dito ay variation. So, variation. Uh, paano ba formula ng variation? Joint variation or combined variation yung tawag dito. Pero, depend, depende sa depende sa problem kasi yan. So, yung joint variation, so ganito yung formula kasi, pwedeng ganito, z is equal to uh, k over xy, or kaya naman, z is equal to k times xy. So, tatluhan kasi yan, work, man, and time. So, yung x and y, so yan yung work, man, and time. So, kahit magkabalik-balik ka, so pwede naman natin palta ng variables yan. So, may k, may constant tayo dyan na k. So, alin sa dalawa ang gagamitin natin? So, alin sa dalawa ang gagamitin natin? Alin man yan sa dalawa? Depende kasi, depende kasi sa problem, sa pagkakakonstruct ng problem. So, ang tabi sa, given kasi dito yung, so sabi, a cornfield can be flowed by 6 tractors in 4 days. When 6 tractors work together, each of them flows 120 hectares a day. So, given yung uh, rate nung bawat, nung bawat tractor per day. So, ang magiging formula natin, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, ibig sabihin niya, imumultiply lang natin. etong K, ito yung constant, ito yung corn field. So, ang sabi dyan kasi, same, same corn field, ano? So, same field. Kaya, cons constant yung K. Ibig sabihin ng K ay constant. So, pag sinold natin ang K dito, imumultiply lang natin both sides by, by XY. Multiply both sides by XY. So, makakancel out na to. So, therefore, ang form formula ng K is equal to XYZ. So, ito na nga yung man time and work. Okay? So, man time and work na yan, yung XYZ. So, ibig sabihin, yung tatlong, yung triple natin, equate lang natin para makuha natin yung ating solution. Okay? So, meron tayong tatlong, uh, di ba, given? Meron tayong, uh, alamin natin, work, man, tsaka time. So, yung work natin, so, ito yung hectares. So, ito yung nalang ilamin natin, hectares, tapos, hectares natin given ay sa yung hectares natin 120 tapos ang tractors natin tractors ay 6 and then number of days ay 4 days tapos, tapos yung pangalawa naman so yung number of hectares natin hindi natin alam yun yung hinahanap so x tapos ang tractors natin naging 4 tapos yung days natin naging 5 so therefore ang formula na lang nito equate na lang natin, imumultiply natin lahat. So, therefore, we have, kunahin na natin yung x, so we have 4 times 5 times x is equal to product na itong tatlo. So, we have, kahit magkabalibalik na dyan, ha? 4 times 6 times 120. Okay? Then, just solve for x. So, ganyan lang yung formula natin. So, multiply lang yung tatlo. So, kung mapapansin nyo, parehas may 4. So, parehas may 4, pwede i-cancel na agad, agad natin yung 4. Kasi pag dinivide both sides by 4, mawawala na yung 4. So, matitira na lang sa atin ay 5x is equal to 6 times 120. Then, divide both sides by 5 para x lang ang matira. Okay, so therefore, uh, cancel out 5. So, therefore, x is equal to 120 divided by 5. So, kaya na mental ito, no? 100 divided by 5, that is 20. Meron pang 20, so 20 divided by 5, that is 4. So, for 24 ang sagot dito, then 24 times 6. So, 24 times 6, we have 6 times 4, that is 24, carry 2. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 2. So, the answer is 144 hectares. Okay, so same answer. Ang answer pa rin natin ay 144 hectares. So, pwedeng isa-isahin yung ako in yung rate per day or uh, rate ng formula, kailangan lang natin gawin, imumultiply lang natin. Yung work, time, and yung given naman. Uh, answer natin is 144 hectares. 
Okay, so sana na gusto niyo ang aking uh, explanation at nalinawan kayo sa problem na problem na ito. So thank you for watching. Uh, bye bye and God bless.